for the entrance hymn. celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the saving love of God who became man to the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May His grace, peace, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, Good evening, my dear sisters and brothers. Good evening, Father. Let us celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the principal patroness of the Philippines. So let us pray for our country, Philippines, and all nations throughout the world dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary as well as the people in the various sectors of our society, especially those places and countries affected by wars, calamities, earthquakes, and uh, the various uh, experiences of uh, poverty. To be worthy of this celebration, let us scrutinize our hearts, acknowledging our sinfulness, our imperfections, and ask the Lord for forgiveness and empowerment. We humbly pray, I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my faults, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord. By the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin, prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son. Grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man... Adam had eaten of the tree. The Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten. Then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, the man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit 
from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the women, Why did you do such thing? The women answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be bound from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike you at your head while you strike at his knee. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the, all, the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all your lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be God the and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We hope first hope in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed 
to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this angel be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month of her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us greet each other. Mabiyayang dakilang kapistahan ng Immaculado Concepcion. Please greet your uh, seatmates. Let us applaud the Lord. We are celebrating the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, the patroness of uh, our Archdiocese of Batanga City, of Taal, the Archdiocese of Manila, and even the Diocese of Pasig, and the uh, many dioceses throughout the world, and even uh, the barangays. Uh, piesta po sa amin, sa Marinduque, sa Diocese of Wak. Uh, we used to call the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Biglang Awa. This piece dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary uh, was celebrated since the 7th century. And uh, in England, as well as in the medieval nations that flourished on the 12th century, they have this piece. And uh, the various uh, spiritual writers and theologians debated, is it possible for the Blessed Virgin Mary to be free from all sin? Si Maria ba ay walang virus ng kasalanan? Yun po ang contention ni ninang mga tao pagkat uh, uh, ito ay hindi dati kinikilala. Sino ba si Maria? Then we have uh, Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, 
St. Thomas Aquinas, who explained thoroughly this truth based from uh, the letter to the Romans, chapter 5, verse 12, wherein St. Paul says, Nabahiran tayong lahat ng kasalanan, tayong mga isinilang dito sa mundo. The encumbrances of sin and death contaminated all of, of springs. Naalala ko at uh, very particular kayo sa stain, sa mga dungis, uh, mga virus, pagkat uh, we need to really to take good care of our sanity. Pero ang Diyos po, sa kasaysayan ng kanyang plano ng gawang pagliligtas, yung pagtanggi ng unang mga tao, sabi natin, sin is rejection of love. Ito po ay uh, nagkamayroon ng consequences sa ating buhay. Kaya lahat ng tao na, na, na isinisilang ay namamatay. Pagkat ang parusa sa kasalanan ay kamatayan at napakaraming kahirapang pinagdaraanan. Sina Adan at Eva naglaro ng kauna-unahang basketball. Pagkat they pass the blame. Ano, yung ganun po ang nangyari. Nasaan ka, Adan? Yun ang binanggit doon sa unang pagbasa. Ay nagtatago, hindi makalantad. Naalala ko po pagka ikay nagkakasala, hindi mo maiutlaw yung ulo mo. Maski nga yung mga mayroong paramor, ano, nakasakay sa taksi, pero pagka nagtatraffic, ay nakatungo o nakatago sa loob ng taksi. Ano, talo pa ang uh, pag-ong, ano, uh, itinatago ang muka. Kaya wala po kitang mukhang ihaharap pagka kasalanan ang pinag-uusapan. Marahil kapalmoks ka o kaya mag-aartikulante ka. Your reasoning is not reasonable, illogical. Kaya, yung pong uh, pagtanggi ni na Adan at Eva ay ipinanuto ng piyat of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kaya nandun yung contrast between the readings na Genesis chapter 3 verse 9 up to 20 with uh, the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 38. At yun po yung sinasambit-sambit natin tuwing orasyon. We re-echo the piyat, ang matamis na oo ng mahal na Birhen Maria. At ito'y humahamon sa atin na tayo ay pawiin ang lahat ng uri ng kaplastikan. Do away with all the pretensions at mamuhay tayo sa katotohanan. Yan ang paanyaya ng Adviento. Kaya we are being facilitated by the icon of Advent, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the claimer of the prophets, Isaiah, as well as the, the prophet who will usher us to prepare the way of the Lord. Ngayon pong linggong darating ay mangungusap si San Juan Bautista sa bawat isa sa atin to wherein ang liku-liku nating pag-uugali, ang nagtatayugan nating kahambugan at pagmamataas or pride at mamuhay tayo ng with humility. Because the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we pray before God sa pagpunta natin dito sa Santo Padre Pio, let us imitate His humble gesture. Be it done unto me according to your word. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Sana po, yung ating oo, sa binyag, 
yung oo natin sa kasalan, sa oo natin sa kumpil, at yung tuwing gumigising tayo, tuwing umaga, as we renew a new beginning in our life, magpakatotoo tayo. Pawiin ang lahat ng uri ng kasinungalingan, mamuhay ng matapat, in obedience to the will of God. Isa sa isip natin ito, isa sa puso, isa sa buhay, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let Please us stand. pray our profession of faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe and in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, Christ on His Son, Son, our Lord. Lord. He was conceived by the, by the power Spirit. of the Holy Spirit, born, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Instead of our prayer of the faithful, let us pray the consecration of the Philippines to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. My Queen, my Mother, I offer myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you. I offer you this day and all the days of my life, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, and my whole being without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am your own, keep me, guard me as your property and possession. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and my mother, pray for me. O Immaculate Mother of God and my mother Mary, I renew my total consecration to you and I offer to your Immaculate Heart my prayers and works, joys and sacrifices of this day and every day of my life until eternity. In cooperation with your mission of conquering the whole world for the kingdom of Christ, allow me to praise you, O Most Holy Virgin, with my personal commitment and sacrifices. Allow me to live, work, suffer, be consumed and die for you, just for Jesus and you. Allow me to bring the whole world to you. Allow me to contribute to your even greater exaltation, to your greatest possible exaltation. Allow me to give you such glory that no one else has ever given you up to now. Allow others to surpass us in zeal for your exaltation and me to surpass them so that by means of such noble rivalry, your glory may increase even more profoundly, even more rapidly, even more intensely as he who exalted you to indescribable above all other things himself desires and grant the whole Philippines and the Filipino families, our whole nation, this Pueblo Amante de Maria, help us to carry the love of your Son in His salvation to the ends of the earth under the protection of your Immaculate Heart. May we truly be one people with Christ and in Christ, Immaculate Heart of Mary, draw us to your heart and the heart of your Divine Son. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For those with envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Lord, we are today. In your hands, we kneel down and pray. As we open our hearts to receive 
receive your forgiveness, O Lord. Let us all stand. The table of the Lord is now ready. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that we, as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit to whom you have lifted up your hearts we lift them up to the let Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without a spot of wrinkle. See the most pure virgin was to bring forth a son. The imminent Lord who should wipe away our offenses, your place, her above all others, to be your people, an advocate of grace, and a mind model of believers of holiness. And so, the company with the choirs of angels, in, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through you son our lord jesus christ by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, grac graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. For uh, on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving thanks, he said the blessing and give the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, and our, our Bishop Gilbert and the Order of Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen gr graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself or your children scattered throughout the world to your departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleading to you at their passing from this life the souls and purgatory and all the departed give kind admittance to your kingdom those who hope in to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow of the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him. And, O oh God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please all stand. Baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, we become God's children. And so we have the courage to sing the prayer of God's family. Our Father, who art in heaven, Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass us against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver 
Jesus, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With joy, love, and forgiveness, we offer each other the sign of peace and evening blessings. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, for uh, from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, mean, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your generosity.
Let us all stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way your preserved Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you, our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, Together with, with the Spirit, Spirit and, and Jesus, Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Amen. Magsiupo muna po ang lahat para sa isang patalastas. Una sa inyong pagdalaw dito sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangat namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. At ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat na inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa palikid ng ating pambansang dambana. Ito po ay ibilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa at sana po ay mapanatili natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Tayo po ay maaari ng tumayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Ang tumutulong sa atin ay ang Panginoon na, na may gawa, gawa ng langit at, at sandibutan. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya, ibuhos mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, sipi ng aklat ng Biblia at mga panalangin at mga religious articles and items na nagpapalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga banal magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ang banal na tubig na wang ito'y magpaalaala ng pagkikisa sa pagpapakasakit, kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Isa Kristo sa sakramento ng binyag. Tayo po'y manalangin. Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukot kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lolhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. 
Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukot kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Lalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Lalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Lalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ako po si Reverend Father Ulysses Santos Valenzuela Ribamonte, taga Marinduque, Diocese of Buak. Ako po ay ipinadala rito ng aming obispo, si Bishop Marcelino Antonio Maralit Jr. na taga rito sa Batangas upang patuloy na humingi ng inyo pong panalangin, pagmamahal, tulong, donasyon para sa proyekto ng diocese, lalo na po ang bahay pari na nakalaan para sa mga may karamdaman at nakatatanda naming mga pari. Salamat po sa inyong panalangin, donasyon at tulong. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, natupad na po ninyo ang uh, ating holiday of obligation, piyastang pangilin, katulad ng linggo. Ano? Kaya tayo po ay nananambahan sa Diyos, sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. Hail Mary, full of grace. Hail Immaculate Temple of the Lord. Hail Turn of purest gold, hail most pure virgin, mother worthy of praise and veneration, pound of gushing waters, treasure of innocence, the splendor of sanctity. O Mary, lead us to the port of peace and salvation, to the glory of Christ who live in eternity with the Father and with the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come Amen. upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in all your ways. Thanks be to God. Nang sa dalinis kami ay hihi Sa Diyos sama nami awang minimiti Ave, Ave, Ave Maria Ave, Ave, Ave Maria 